Okay, it hurt me very much to see so many students struggling on this last exam with this simple reaction where we take an amino acid monomer and we condense it with another amino acid to form a dipeptide or a tripeptide or any polypeptide the condensation reaction is the same. Okay, for example, if we're looking at an amino acid, we typically have, we draw it, we begin with an alpha carbon. That would be easiest. It has a hydrogen on it, and it has the defining R group, a methyl group for an alanine, a, an isobutyl group for isoleucine, or a phenyl group for tyrosine. It also has an alpha carboxyl group. Okay, and this is going to be charged the way that I'm writing it. And then the fourth bond on the chiral center, this chiral carbon, is the amine group. is also charged. The pH of that I'm drawing these at it's about 7, 7.4. And it's important to know this because each of these functional groups, the alpha carboxyl group and the alpha amine group, have the have the ability to act as an acid or base. That is to accept a proton uh, in the case of a base or donate a proton in the case of an acid. And so in each case we can accept or donate a proton, but it depends on the pH that the solution is that these free amino acids are in. And we determine.